We're living in a world, and the greatest problem we have is that everything is superficial. You got a quote on your Facebook page, and that's it. And so we get all this information, but we don't get anything deeper. And I tell people all the time, you have to search wisdom. Information is not wisdom. Information is quick. You get it on your phone in a second. Wisdom takes time. Wisdom comes from a source that's deeper than the guy down your block, than someone who made a couple of dollars and thinks he knows everything about life. I personally think it comes from Torah. But when you are able to take ideas and search for wisdom, values, stuff that stands the test of time, stuff that mattered 100 years ago, stuff that matters whether it's 48, 56, 67, stuff that matters that is over generations. When you can understand that, then you can live in a world where there's Facebook, but you don't get sucked into that world. Kids today are getting everything from Facebook and from Twitter, but they have to go deeper. It has to come from something where they can get wisdom, not just information. The United States loves Israel. Every kid, you put them on the street and you get into their heart and you say the word Israel, it skips a beat. Israel needs to know at their core that we love them, not a little bit. You see, if you're in some small town in Israel and you're, you're in the army and then you go to work, it's part of your life. You don't know the guys in Queens, that every time Israel's on the news, you click on that. You don't know that every candidate that we vote for, even against our own interests, because they're good for Israel. Israelis need to understand that Americans love them, live for them. When there's something that goes on in Israel, we cry with them. And the Americans need to understand that Israelis aren't just fighting for them. They're fighting for us. You think they're fighting a, bo a, a, war, a, a, board, a war against Gaza? They're fighting a war for New York. Because where there's a Jew in the world, we're only safe. Because there's a guy in a uniform in Tel Aviv. When both parties understand how much we love each other, then we'll be able to live together in a different way. You think that uh, this uh, generation need to visit more in Israel, need to visit in Judea and Samaria? Yes, I think that every single Jew, every Jew that doesn't live in Israel, needs to spend some time in Israel. It doesn't have to be anywhere. They step on the land. I take every year, I take between two and 500 adult men to Israel on a trip. Many never been there before. We, the minute they step on the land, they walk in the shuk, they go to the army base, they look around, and they're home. Every Jew needs to feel home. And if you don't live in Israel, it's hard to understand that for a diaspora Jew, it feels, and I love America, I'm here my whole life. You step on the, on the land of Israel, there's a piece of you that comes alive. And every Jew needs to have that piece. Just what it means to be a Jew today.